Hi, this is uh, Danish from TechDiggers.com, and today I will teach you how to install Jenny Motion on your Windows PC. First, you need to go to the website. It's uh, JennyMotion.com, and here you will see a sign up uh, button. You can click that, and uh, all right. So f this is a free account you can create. Uh, you need to put in your username, uh, email, password click on I accept and uh, you can click here a pers for, for your personal usage here you can select testing and click sign up I already got an account so I'll be going inside through my account alright so this is the first page you will see you have to click here Windows 32 and 64 bits with the virtual box if you need for any other platform you can choose from here Windows Mac Linux and uh, all of these here so okay so I have already downloaded the file for myself which is here so I will install instead of downloading click install you can click run it's like yes click OK so just follow all the steps here it's 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 quite easy so next Next, next, create a desktop icon. Yes, next, install. The installation is quite quick, so you won't take much time. Alright, so you're on Oracle VM Virtual Box Setup. You can click Next here. Nothing to change, just click Next. Create a shortcut on desktop, create a shortcut on Quick Launch, Next. Warning error preference is fine, that's okay, you can just click Yes here. Install. <laughs> so this is copying Oracle Virtual Machine Virtual Box files here. So you can trust this and install. Alright, so you can click on Start Oracle Virtual Machine Virtual Box after installation. It should be checked first. Hit Finish and hit Finish here as well. Loading plugins. So now it's asking you to, uh, there's to add a new virtual device. See here, you have no virtual device available yet. Do you want to add one? So you click yes here. All right. So you have uh, the first thing you need to do is you to you need to connect your Genemotion account. So click connect and type in your username, password. Click connect. Okay. So here are all the available virtual devices you can select from. So I will do Galaxy S4 4.3 API 18 and click uh, next. You can name anything here, so I'll do just next here. So that's going to download file which is 174 megabytes and that's going to take some time. So I will pause the video for uh, for a little bit and I'll come back. We are almost done, it's 98%. Okay, you will click finish here. So now you can see the virtual device has been added in this list. You can click on play and you can use your Galaxy S4 virtual device. If you have any questions, you can uh, write comments below and let us know and we will try to help you out. Uh, do visit techdiggers.com and thank you so for watching this video.